Hey friends. So today's menu is we're going to have broccoli salad and uh, I'm going to make chicken fingers from scratch and I'll show you how to make this delicious salad. Very good. And then you, it's always even better the next day. So you need a, a thing of broccoli like I got here. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to wash it. Bruce is going to check. I don't know if we have a red onion out there, but I need a red onion. If I don't have a red onion, I'm going to have to use a regular onion. Oh. And that red onions are so much better in this salad. Oh. So he's going to see. Oh, I pray that, he can, for love. pray that he can find one. <laughs> so I'm just taking it apart and then I'm going to go wash it up. Just cut that right off. Okay. He's looking at robins out there. <laughs> There's robins are trying to figure out where they're gonna build their nest this year. Then you want to cut your broccoli into little pieces. Okay, just little pieces like this. Even if it, I don't like to put a lot of that in my salad. I kind of cut that piece off. So just cut it at the yellow, yellow part I don't put in either. I usually basically just cut that thick part and then cut these. I like a little pieces. See what I'm doing here? Let me go cut this broccoli and I'll report back to you if Bruce got a red onion out of the yard. There's nothing uh, more joyous. I wanted to show you a picture <laughs> of me when the hose is uh, unfroze now and you can use the hose again after a long winter. I'll put my picture right here. <laughs> and then... I wanted to take the picture of the girls in their uh, Easter ear, their bunny ears, and, well, Marshmallow was the only one that cooperated with me, <laughs> so her picture's right here. Her Paula Dean, I got him on her a little bit, but she was running away from me. Get anything? Well, that'll work, huh? Oh, there's more out there like this. Yeah. But they, that's... Me, oh, can you get me a couple more of them? A couple of these? No, of that. No. No? Well, I'll take it. I'll take what I have, can do. This is purple onion here. But it started growing again. I don't know. That's all I could find. That's good. Just leave it here. I'll use it. See how they're starting to grow? Uh-huh. Probably if I would have picked it a couple weeks ago. Well, we got a little tiny, tiny one. Uh, that'll work. I'll still use some oh, of the regular. Oh, there's some out there, but I'd have to go. It's not... Uh... Just let them grow. Anyways. Last day... Or no, you got no, you got one more day tomorrow. I wish it was the last day. Then we can yes, have is. some fun on, on my birthday. I'm gonna give this to the girls. I don't know if they like broccoli or not. Uh, and Jetro, I don't know if he likes broccoli. But I'll give that to the girls. Nothing gets wasted. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, I see a few pieces here. I'd really like to cut smaller. I like to have it really small and uh, not real chunky. I 
Now we also have to get the uh, we have to get the bacon going because it takes bacon. Okay, I'm gonna cook my bacon in here. Oh no, I mean a a dish rag that I can. I gotta buy some. You know that you wet and wipe the counter with. That's dishcloth. Cook half of my bacon and wrap the other half in you got it, a cereal bag. <laughs> what we want to do is at least six pieces of bacon. But I'm gonna use what I have here. I think I might have more than six, but that's okay. The more the better. Thank you. And I'm just going to chop pieces and cook my bacon up. The, ga the baking is a game changer. And do you remember when I made the broccoli salad? We had Frankie and Eve over and he says, that's a particular salad I've never heard of. This sure is darn good. He says, I've never seen a salad made like that. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> they might be coming over next weekend. Not this weekend. Next weekend. Yeah. We can have a little barbecue. Okay, I'll be back once I get it in the frying pan. Okay. We got that cut up and we're just going to fry them up. So little pieces. Love you. Have a good day. We'll see you. What is it? Yeah, you guys have a good day. Are you texting that? Yeah. Are you texting that? <laughs> well, it's your dad. Yeah. <clears throat> be nice. Be kind. Be safe. You gotta tell Bruce to be kind because he'll, he'll tease people. Oh, that's right. I don't do that, do I? No. <laughs> you got a fork this now? Still? Yeah, no? Yeah, they got two batteries fixed, so now I got a fork this. Oh. <laughs> now I can do more and more and more. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. While that bacon is cooking, I'm gonna cut up cut up my onion. I highly suggest if you have a red onion to make sure use a red onion. And I'm gonna use I'd say about half a red onion if you have one. I'm just going to put a little bit of this red onion in there for some flavor. This is perfect to bring to a gathering if you're going to a gathering in the summer. And uh, perfect. Even if you're going on a picnic, say you want to go on a picnic or a drive and you're bringing some uh, sandwiches or whatever with you and you want something else, this, this broccoli salad is always better the next day. Always. So you can pack it up in your uh, 
and your cooler and bring it with you and you can stop at a nice place on your ride on your drive and uh, have your lunch broccoli salad and a sandwich some fresh fruit and of course some chips I'm looking everywhere for the lid and it was right in front of me I'm gonna cut the onions like this yeah. okay so we're gonna add the onions to this I don't know how well these onions will work, but sometimes you gotta work with what you have. Ooh, my eyes are watering. Whew. I'm gonna wrap that in tin foil. That'll keep it fresh. Okay. Okay. Our bacon is done. And we're just going to put it on a paper towel to soak up the excess grease. It's calling my name. Oh. <laughs> How can you not take a piece? It's impossible. I gotta get every last speck. Okay, to our broccoli salad, we're going to add a handful of dried cranberries. A handful of sunflower seeds. bacon. That was seven pieces of bacon that you could do. I it you can do six or seven. I have seven so I use seven. Okay. Now I'm just gonna move it aside for a minute. where you're going to shred some cheese. I would say about a cup of cheese. I'm going to go with a cup. When you just need a, a cup of cheese, it's no use bringing out your your shredding uh, machines. You know what I mean? <laughs> For me anyways, I'd rather just use this a hand shredder. If I'm only going to do a cup. That looks good. Well, maybe, maybe that's more than a cup. I might not put it all in, and I may. Let's see. 
Okay, let's give this a mix. Throw in the cheese. What do you think? I think I need a little more cheese, just a little bit. I'll keep this in a container to have on hand for something. We'll use it for something. Okay, for the dressing, I got about two tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of vinegar. You could use, oop, uh, I have it. You can use apple cider vinegar if you have it. I don't have that on hand. Or you can use white vinegar. I have it in this so it'll be easier than <laughs> pouring it from the big jug, Michelle. Okay, and you're going to need a, a few um, heaping tablespoons of mayo, or in my case, I'm using great value whip dressing. Uh, I'd say about two and a half. Huge. Then we're going to give this a mix. I'm going to leave this out just in case it's not enough. Give it a good mix. We're going to pour it on our, our dressing. You gotta have that sugar. It's what makes the the dressing. Don't leave it out. Okay, let's give this a good mix and see what we got here. I think that will be good. You're gonna let it sit and marinate for marinate for a while. You could always leave it sit and marinate till the next day. I'm going to have mine for dinner tonight. So, and then we'll have more tomorrow. I think that is enough dressing. Let's put some salt and pepper in there. gonna give it a taste to see what it tastes like see if I need to add anything else give it a taste want some bacon broccoli an onion piece of broccoli Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. 
I'm going to put it in my Tupperware container here, bowl, and just let it sit all day to marinate. Go in the fridge once in a while and give it a good stir. <clears throat> the days are getting nicer, so you want a lot of nice spring food. You know, not that heavy, heavy winter food. Okay. Not my friend. This broccoli salad. Mmm. -hmm. Good. Okay, friends. We're going to make our chicken strips. Oven. Oven. Uh, fried chicken strips. Cooked in the ovens. Okay, this is two chicken breasts that I freezed. And I cut them. Um, I... I cut them in four. So what I'm going to do is cut them in strips to make chicken strips. Nice strips. Just like that. So out of two chicken breasts, I'm getting all these chicken strips. And that is uh, a way that you can make your food go and your meat go farther without even having anybody notice really that they're getting less meat. Yeah. So I would say this would feed a family of three <laughs> like I got. I'm also going to serve uh, a baked potato with these in my broccoli salad on the side. These are going to be smaller strips. That was a small piece. Cut them in nice strips, not too thick. That way they cook nice. Okay, I'm going to go wipe my counter down and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to bread these chicken uh, strips. First thing I do is I wipe it down with a paper towel, then I throw it away. And then I use my sponge. I love the Dawn spray very much. Yeah. I, I never use a glass cutting board. I'm going to tell you why. When, when I first started cooking, I had a huge glass cutting board like this. Okay? Me and my sister-in-law, we each got one. I forget where we got them from. I had it for years. And one day, cutting on it, it shattered in a million pieces. In a million pieces, it just shattered. And to this day, I just, once so I see, that's why when I see someone cutting with a, a glass cutting board, I cringe at just the sound of it. I, it just, it brings back nightmares. Yeah, because it, it shattered a million pieces. I think I was finding tiny pieces for a year around the kitchen. They just show up. Then I'm going to spray my 
sink down with the Dawn spray and let it sit for a few minutes. Yeah, so not that I I don't it's not that I don't uh I just get cringe. I get a cringy feeling when I see someone cutting on a glass cutting board because it happened to me. A million pieces, I'm telling you, it's shattered. And uh, that's when I got this. I got this at Costco, actually. Uh, I don't know how many years ago. And it's the only thing I'll cut on. It's the only thing. Okay. Okay, so we have our chicken in here. I'm going to add salt and pepper and my seasonings to this chicken. So I got salt. And I like to use the pink salt. And I just want to clear a few things up about spices. Pepper. Some people think every spice is full of salt. Well, I'm going to tell you right now you're wrong. Onion powder here. And I only get my spices at Costco. Do not get your spices from the Dollar Tree, please. This granulated onion is completely the only one ingredient on here. Onion. That's it. Onion. That's it. This garlic powder. One ingredient. I got this at, at No Frills because Bruce ruined my... I don't know. He spilt it or knocked it over. And I, I did... So he he picked this up to surprise me at No Frills. But I get it all usually at Costco. Garlic powder. This garlic powder. One ingredient. It's called garlic. Okay? One ingredient on here. Ingredient. Garlic powder. That means it's garlic. Okay. Uh, because it kills me how everybody thinks spices are full of salt. It's so not true. You gotta do your homework. Now some of this stuff, it does have salt in it that I use, but I want to prove to you that some spices you can get that you don't have salt at it. This is granulated onion. Granulated onion only. So those, um, and I could show you a few more, but I, I'm not using them today. Okay, uh, this has a few different spices in it. This is my uh, all-purpose seasoning. But paprika, you do know what paprika is. Paprika is red pepper, okay? Red pepper. It's not salt, it's red pepper, okay? And I'm going to use some of this uh, ranch seasoning from Trader Joe's. Okay, I'm still, I'm going to still flour my, my, uh, I'm going to use my fingers. My uh, flour. I'm, I'm still going to season my flour, so I'm going to leave my spices out here. But season your chicken. Give it a good mix. So many people are misinformed on a lot of spices. And I just want to set the record straight, okay? I hate to taste someone's cooking if they didn't use spices. Especially salt. <laughs> okay. I have flour, eggs here, and I'm going to use panko breadcrumb, breadcrumbs too. I'll show you what I'll do with that. Okay? So first your flour. I'm going to add seasoning to it. The same seasonings I added to the chicken. Mm. 
You can use any seasoning you want, you guys. Any of your favorite seasonings. I like to use the smoked paprika when I barbecue things. But when I don't barbecue, I like to use the regular. Okay. Just give that a little mix. Did I put, I don't think I put salt and pepper. I'm going to put salt and pepper in there too. garlic plus in there too. Okay. Okay. Give that a mix up. And then in his pan I'm going to do two eggs. I had to give my neighbor some eggs this morning because I was putting, I put Jethro in his pen and I didn't realize I didn't close the door all the way. And then I let the chickens out. Well, um, Jethro come out of his pen. I turned around. He was there and he was ready to jump on me. And I, uh, then the girls were mad because he was coming after me. They wanted to go after him and I didn't want the girls to get hurt. hurt. And there I am yelling, help, help for Bruce or Nate to come out. Of the house I was yelling and then I had the rake there and trying to back Jethro off I oh my gosh you guys you don't know how mean he is and then uh, and he was out all morning and then uh, peanut and butter were wanted to attack him I kept having to tell him no and I had to spray the hose at him I did not want them to get hurt I wanted to get hurt before they did and it was a nightmare. My neighbor heard all this commotion and I guess Bruce and Nate were still sleeping and didn't hear me. He come over and helped me. So I I sent Bruce over with a, a dozen eggs for him. <laughs> it was like, I tell you, Jethro is so mean. You guys don't see it. You think he's cute, but he is so mean. He could have killed those chickens today. <sighs> It was a, it was a nightmare. Okay, two eggs and I'm putting hot sauce. Put any of your favorite hot sauce in. Trust me, you're not going to really, it's not going to be hot. It just adds the flavor. Okay? Adds the flavor. Any hot sauce you want. You could use Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Any, any flavor you want. Okay? Give that a mix. So that was my nightmare this morning out in the chicken yard. Jeez. I think the chickens thought it was he was a hawk or something. But they were mad. They, those chickens were protecting their mummy. I never see anything like it before in my life. <laughs> those chickens were protecting their mummy. They weren't gonna let Paula Dean was laying an egg and and uh, Marshmallow was screaming and uh, <laughs> Butter and Peanut were going after Jethro. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. We're also going to use um, breadcrumbs and uh, you know uh, breadcrumbs are pretty dry, right? Okay. Let me find my breadcrumbs. Okay, I don't have a lot of them, but I have some. The panko breadcrumbs, you're going to, it was a quarter cup of butter, quarter cup I don't measure. We're going to melt this quarter cup of butter and then we're going to add our breadcrumbs to it. And then, you know, when you, you, uh, use this panko sometimes 
and you kind of feel like it's dry on the on the chicken that your bread is is the trick is to melt some butter and put your panko crumbs in the butter and that'll make it more more moist okay so once this is melted I'm going to add my bread crumbs okay just do it enough so they're melted add I would say probably two cups I'm, but I'm going to just use what I have there maybe a cup and a half in there but I would use about two cups you're going to mix your breadcrumbs with your butter okay that makes them a little more moister okay I'm going to set out my pan here put my chicken over there to start I got my oven on. I want to put it on about 4, 425. I'm going to get another piece of parchment paper because this will help uh, when I don't have to clean the pan. Okay, so. I'm just going to put the parchment paper catch in case anything drip, drips. I got these racks at the thrift store, believe it or not. Yes, I did. And uh, they have to be mo my most favorite racks because they rise up. Okay, they rise instead of flat. I'm going to fit two on here. Okay. So what we're going to do is cook... Okay, you guys, I don't, you died on me. <laughs> I don't know where you died on, what, I don't know where I was when you died, but you died. So I got my oven on for 25. I'm going to spray my racks just so the chicken doesn't stick to it. Okay, so over here, got our line going, okay, and I'm going to. Can you see okay? Let me see how this is. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. Okay. Take your chicken pieces. Roll them in flour. I'm going to do about four pieces at once. Get them coated with flour. Okay, then the egg mixture. My uh, my bread, my panko breadcrumbs have a color to them because they are flavored. Uh, there's they have spices in them. I bought them that way. Then you're gonna put into the egg, then the uh, panko breadcrumbs. Bread them as best you can. I don't think I would buy these, uh, the the ones with the uh, seasoning in them again. It's kind of seasonings I don't really like, like um, basil and stuff like that. I like basil, but not in my breadcrumbs if I'm making something like chicken fingers. But I'm going to use them up because that's what I do. I use things up. So into the egg into the panko crumbs and I'll bring you back when I get them all on the rack okay I've actually let this sit for 15 minutes once you bread your chicken let it sit for 15 minutes 
as you can see, I ran out of some of the breadcrumbs, but that's okay. I might like that better. Yeah, I don't like that green stuff they put in those panko crumbs because it makes it look a different color. I decided I'm going to turn my oven on convection and make it crispier. I don't like to use the air fryer for this kind of stuff. Somebody's going to say, cook them in the air fryer. I know it. I only like to warm things up, basically, in the air fryer. Okay, let me get these in the oven for 10 minutes, and then we're going to flip them over. As they are cooking, I'm going to do my dishes up. Yeah. I like to spray them and give them a little bit of squirt of dish soap. I don't fill my sink up. I just wash them like this. This way, after I can relax and know I only have a couple dishes to do. Yeah. I don't miss the dishwasher at all. I really don't. Some people love their dishwashers. I don't miss one at all. No. I never use my sponge to clean off the cheese because uh, sometimes it sticks. Sometimes it sticks to that sponge, so I usually w wash it with my uh, my dish rag. Then I don't have pieces of cheese stuck to my sponge. Okay, I'm going to go finish this up, and then I'll show you how to clean your cast iron pan. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how I clean my cast iron. Okay, I have baking grease. Usually I keep it, and I will cook something in it, but I'm not going to be using it for the next few days, so... I throw it out. If if I'm if I know I can use it in the next couple of days, I'll keep it. You can keep it in your fridge, but every time I keep baking ba baking grease in my fridge, I always forget about it. So what I do is I take whatever is in the pan out. I have the scraper. It was so cheap, and it's the best scraper you can ever have. <laughs> the expensive ones are terrible. I like this cheap 25 cent one. Okay, you're going to scrape your cast iron out. I'm not going to wash this. Cast iron cooking is the most healthiest cooking you can cook with. If your iron is low, it'll add iron to your food. It's the healthiest. People get scared of cast iron, but just try to remember, if it's something like this, like baking grease, you can use that to that'll season, season your pan. But if it's like a sauce, wash it with water and then put some oil, a little bit of dab of oil in it and spread it with your paper towel. But since baking grease is the best oil you can get, I'm going to use the baking grease. Every time you cook, you got to spread a little oil in your pan. Every time. And since I have baking grease, like, I want to use the baking grease. Don't be scared of cast iron. You can't do anything wrong. The more you use it, the more you season it, the better your food will taste. Like I said, if it's if you're cooking bacon or anything like that, use the oil from the bacon. But if it's a sauce, just rinse it out in your sink. Use your little scrubby if you have anything stuck to it. And, uh, yeah, 
then you then I have like uh, oil up here in my cover I'll just put a little bit to show you and uh, I just put a little squirt of oil in it and then I uh, go around with my paper towel don't leave any wet spots make sure it's all rubbed in really good and you're ready to cook again remember don't ever use soap in your cast iron you will get the best seasoning from there you go my cast iron is clean except for a little bit of paper to towel <laughs> my cast iron is clean and ready to go next time next time I want to use it cast iron will last you a lifetime you never have to say oh I gotta go replace my cast iron pants never 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 will you have to replace those cast iron pants okay I'm making baked potatoes that's it I already washed them and uh, I'm working through these potatoes that uh, Bruce bought I made fries yesterday and I'm supposed to make frozen fries but I haven't got to that yet and I don't feel like doing that today again so what I do is I just stab our potatoes and cook them in the microwave for 10 minutes or so until they're nice and soft that's how we like our baked potatoes that's the only way we like them in the microwave for some reason I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two dips to go with the uh, the chicken. I'm gonna make honey mustard. I think Scott sent me this honey. It's it's huckleberry. I'm gonna make honey mustard. Look at that. That is pure honey. See how that's hardened? If your honey does not harden, honey, it's not it's not pure. Yeah. probably have to microwave it for a minute about 20 seconds or so so the first bowl I'm just gonna put this honey garlic sauce I like this I love, this is my two favorite sauces to eat with uh, chicken strips honey garlic and honey mustard so you're just gonna put the mustard in there You can use ranch, whatever your favorite dip is. These are my favorite. The baked potatoes are cooking in the microwave. Okay, uh, let me put this honey in the microwave. Okay, so I'm just going to mix some of this honey in with that mustard. We have our sauces. Look at that chicken. That's the pink oh crumbs. That's the flour. Now flour, you might want to spray your little oil on top. I should have did that. But that's fine. These four were the flour. You can spray a little oil on top and you won't see the flour like that. I should have done that, but I didn't think of it. It's fine. Let's plate up our dinner. Okay. Nate's potato, he's going to have later, with, with, he's going to cook some fish with his.
I always make Bruce's potato. He likes when I make it just a sliver in. And push it like that. I'm going to put butter in there. That's hot. And then my potato. Push it. Oh, darn it. Butter. Oh, so hot. I'm going to put some of this cream cheese in. I'm just going to use it all up. <laughs> There's not much left in there. <sighs> Salt and pepper. And I like to put a little bit of garlic powder on top of our potatoes. And then, remember I had that cheese left over? Cheese. I'm just going to finish it. Not worth it to put a pinch of cheese back in the fridge. No. Okay, so chicken fingers. Give Bruce the big ones. Okay, on my plate, I'm going to put the salad, and on Bruce's plate, I'm going to put his in a bowl. So when he comes home, he can microwave his, his food without having to microwave his salad. Okay, let me show you the finished product here. There we go. Look at that. Look at that dinner. Homemade. Yeah. Homemade. Let's give it a try, you guys. Okay, I don't have makeup on. I promise we are going. I'm taking you with me tomorrow to get a haircut. So don't, I didn't want to get on camera, but I have to do a taste test. 
I I insist on people have to do taste tests so <laughs> okay mmm did you hear that crunch mm-hmm Baked potato. Mm hmm. Delicious. <laughs> and now for the salad. Mm. Out of this world. Mm hmm. Let's try the honey mustard. Mm. Delicious, you guys. Mm -hmm. A 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go put you guys on the charger. You're almost dead. I'm going to eat my dinner. I'm going to finish this puzzle tonight. I am. I'll see you when I finish the puzzle to show you to say goodnight.